to the viewers. How's it going? How is everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing well this week. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. I hope you're having a, a nice week. Um, so I wanted to read on a couple things um, just kind of quickly. This will be a short video, but I do want to give you a little bit of information. If you don't want to listen to this, just go forward. You don't have to email me <laughs> tell me you don't like it. Just go forward and go to the reading part, okay? This is just for people that wanna know this extra like little businessy stuff that I have to take care of. So first, um, with the membership, I'm very excited about it, as you know. <laughs> but what I found out, which I didn't know, is that YouTube won't allow for a yearly um, subscription they only do monthly. And so I have to adhere to their rules. Um, usually, I mean, usually memberships, you can do a yearly or a monthly. So that's what I thought. So that's what I did, but they don't allow for a yearly. So they just do a monthly. You can cancel at any time. But what I decided is that because the yearly was discounted that I'll just discount the month. So everybody gets a discount, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. And uh, yeah, so that's what we're doing. So it'll be by month. And when you sign up, it's very easy. You'll just go to my YouTube page. Make sure you're subscribed first and then hit the join button and that's it. That's all you have to do. So as soon as, it, as, soon as it's about to go live, I'll let you guys know, okay? All right, so um, I wanted to tell you who we gave money to over September and October and tell you who we're giving money to in November. Um, and I'll need your help with that. But uh, for September and October, we gave to, <clears throat> for those of you who don't know that the money from the channel is, it's, it's monetized because I get, because of your subscriptions. And so I donate the money from the, the subscription monetization. So just so you know. Um, and if you there's somebody you want me to send money to, you just let me know. And because it's our, our channel, right? Okay, so the first one is Doctors Without Borders, Black Lives Matter, um, St. Jude's Children's Hospital, Wildlife, the Wildlife Conservatory, Boys Town, Animal Asia Foundation, the Lupus Foundation, Shriners Hospital, Leukemia and Lymphoma, Lymphoma Society, and Food for the Poor. Um, I'm going to roll over another donation for Food for the Poor. I wanted November to be all food stuff. So if you have a local food bank or a food bank that you like or anything related to um, people not having food or children not having food, please um, just send me an email. Let me know your favorite place to donate and I will donate on your behalf, okay? All right, so let's look at, um, well, first, as you know, um, in my, the justice video that we did, um, my guides had said that, um, that, uh, his name just popped out of my head, um, Rittenhouse, 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 yeah, is, um, would be found not guilty, but in that same reading, I just want to let you know that it also said that there would be a civil suit and they would have to, they would be found guilty in that. And that um, that judge is finished, that judge will be gone within the year. So I just wanted to, although it was hard and I, I hoped that I had misinterpreted it some way, but I didn't, it was, that's what it was. So, but in that same reading, I just wanted to kind of remind you that it also said civil suit coming, guilty and that judge is done. So, <laughs> you know, good news, bad news. So um, just wanted to remind you of that so that um, you're not completely, you know, um, devastated by that um, verdict, which is, it's, it's crazy, right? It's crazy, but it's one of the reasons that my guides have said to get grounded, get centered, because we're gonna have a lot of this, a lot of tug of war, disappointments, but also some wins. And so the Ahmed Aubrey, I feel like they will be found guilty. Um, that's what my guides made me feel like, um, uh, that is um, what's going to be happening. And so if, if they're not found guilty in this trial, I know there's, a, there's another trial coming. So either they'll be found guilty in both or they'll be found guilty in one. Um, I wasn't quite understanding, but I did meditate on that and I got that for you guys. So um, hopefully it will be guilty in both, but a for sure one. Um, so, uh, I also feel like there, there might be a complaint filed against the lawyers in that case. Um, I, I, I'm not exactly sure why. I know they've been pretty awful in the way they've kind of conducted themselves, but I feel like there's a complaint coming against them. And uh, 
and so that yeah so that that's coming and then um let's look at roger stone because i know he just got a a subpoena so let me look at him and we'll look at um alex jones as well so let me look at roger stone So um, I feel like Roger Stone, his, um, it feels like they're going to, he's going to be told that he should comply with his, I guess, legal counsel. Um, and I feel like he might comply in private. Um, And I feel like he might plead the fifth um, a lot, but that's what I'm I'm feeling. Um, if he does, I feel like it's kind of like still undecided. But I feel like that's what his lawyers are going to tell him to do is just um, go ahead and do it, but in private. Um, and then with Alex Jones and Roger Stone is. A fool. So he may he may not listen to his attorneys, but that's what they're going to advise him. Um, but Alex Jones, let me see. Um, I feel like he's going to try to fight it somehow, but I feel like he's being um, sued in lots of areas for some reason, um, not exactly understanding where the lawsuits are coming from, but he's going to be in court a lot um, over the next few years, it feels like. Um, and is going to end up in a lot of debt and have a lot of debt. He may even serve some jail time. Um, That's not looking good for him. I also see some health problems as well. Um, I just heard gut, gut. So, um, something with his stomach, I guess, the gut, um, or gout, maybe they're saying gout, <laughs> gut or gout, um, but I'm getting that for him. And I do think they're going to call the Flynn brothers if they haven't already I've been kind of avoiding the news. <laughs> so if they've already called them, sorry about that. Um, but I feel like they are going to call them and they'll put up a fight to testify. Someone also related to Mike Pence. Um, I saw that before. I think it was when Debbie and Linda and I read, I kept seeing Mike Pence when they we were asking about the new subpoenas. Um, so somebody, either either Mike Pence himself or somebody related to Mike Pence is going to be testifying, and I feel like they actually do testify. Um, something about the Justice Department coming down on somebody um, hard. So... Um, this could be a rioter, um, someone who was one of the rioters, but I feel like it's um, like they come down hard on the person and there's more arrests as well. Um, people they couldn't find before are arrested.
And I do feel like there's a couple of bombshells. Um, it just feels like um, surprising, but having to do with the January 6th commission, I feel like it might be somebody's testimony. Um, and that is, to me, that it feels like it happens between um, Thanksgiving and Christmas. I don't even know if they're in session then, but it feels like that's when it is. It could be right after Christmas maybe, but it feels hol like holiday, like the holidays. Um, so, or, or right after New Year or something like that, but it feels like it's right around the holidays and it feels pretty, it feels crucial to their findings. Um, I think it's testimony and maybe it's phone records or something like that, but it, it feels like somebody testifying. Um, it feels like a woman, a woman testifying. Um, yeah, so that's what I've got for that. Um, hmm. All right, guys, let me know what you guys want me to read on. Um, Debbie and I have our last new, uh, new, our last um, beginners mediumship class on November 30th. It starts on November 30th. So if you want to be part of that, um, don't be intimidated. <laughs> don't be scared. <laughs> it's a really fun. It's a, it's a good time. You meet wonderful people um, and we help you all the way along and it's it's a lot of fun it's really hard when we have to say goodbye you know when we have our last class because everybody gets very close and it's really it's it's really a good time so if you're even kind of interested you should try it because it's a lot of fun and um if you've taken my online classes um you should be fine to take them you know you should be plenty prepared to uh to take the beginning mediumship classes so um and I have my classes on my, you know, as, as always, my, my recorded classes, if you're interested in those. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So my, my goal, my goal <laughs> is to teach you guys how to utilize your own gifts so you can get your answers yourself and you don't have to, to run somewhere to get an answer um, when you really need it. So, um, you know, I, I like to check in with my, um, my favorite psychics or you know my favorite intuitives um every you know maybe once or twice a year but um the other times i'm i'm depending on my own kind of navigation system and that's what i hope to teach you guys too so that you can um you can do it too all right so take care everyone have a wonderful thanksgiving i'm thinking about popping on thanksgiving maybe and just saying hi just um just for fun um, we don't usually do anything for thanksgiving because the traffic is terrible here and we're not huge thanksgiving fans so <laughs> which is really nice <laughs> but you know we like the sentiment but um the history is kind of weird and and um yeah it's just never been one of my favorite favorite holidays so we usually stay home and just hang out as a family so i may pop on and and if you guys are if you're alone for thanksgiving or if you're um you know just hanging around and you want to pop on and just talk for a little while we can we can do that okay all right i'll talk to you soon